Hey, what's up? I'm Sam Fon. Welcome to the studio. So you want some outdoor chairs, but you don't want to break the bank? I got you. Today we're going to be making some Adirondack chairs using these pre-cut templates by Rockler. Let's get into it. Alright, so here's our cut list and we're going to be using all cedar for this project and it was all purchased from Home Depot. So we're just going to trace each template onto the corresponding piece of cedar, cut it out with our jigsaw, and tack that template back on the top of each piece and route out the final dimensions with our flush trim bit on our router table. And once that's complete, we're just going to do a little touch up sanding to make sure each piece looks good before we start assembling it. And then it's just going to be a rinse and repeat process of tracing and cutting out until we get to one of the back support braces that is going to need a 30 degree angle cut, which is what you see here. But that is the one and only special piece. The rest of this is just a repeat of before tracing and cutting. All right, so we got all of our pieces for our chair cut and routed to the exact dimensions. And now it's time to start the assembly. All right, so piecing this bad boy together is going to be pretty straightforward. We're making sure we pre-drill everything because cedar is very soft and it will easily split on you if you're not careful. And you're going to need a couple of clamps to hold this thing together. For the screws, we are using weatherproof deck screws in two different sizes, which I'll link down below. And we're just going to follow the instructions that are included in the template for piecing this thing together. Um, for the arms here, there is a little bit of an overhang. You want to make sure you're a half inch on the inside edge and an inch overhanging the front. And as I'm putting these screws in, I want to make sure that everything looks even and symmetrical on each side. So we want to be careful and make sure all of our screw holes are properly placed so it doesn't look sloppy at the end. Now for the back slats, we're going to start with the middle piece. Make sure that's perfectly centered and then we'll add our two outside pieces, keeping them equally spaced apart. And we want to make sure we stay flush at the top. So if there's any sort of overhang, we want to hide that at the bottom because that won't get seen. And once we have everything in place, we're just going to screw it in and then add our backslash support brace at the top, clamp it down and screw that in as well. And the final step of the assembly process is going to be the seat slats. Again, same process, equally space them apart, pre-drill it and put four screws in each one. And lastly, we're going to hit it with some 150 grit sandpaper, uh, making sure we don't have any loose edges, kind of cleaning up those router marks, getting everything looking nice and smooth. And then we're going to do a little touch up with some uh, hand sanding, getting in those cracks, making sure it all looks good. And finally, it is time to spray it with some finish. And we're going to be using bare deck plus waterproof wood finish, which we also got from Home Depot. And we're going to do two coats of this, waiting for it to dry in between. And then we're ready to go, ready for the elements. 